We're back with another great episode of Power Boating in Paradise featuring the Tampa Bay Poker Run 2019 edition. Nine years here on the Tampa Bay area enjoying these beautiful waterways. Of course, this event features the members of the Florida Power Boat Club. And as always, uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors for making this production possible. The Florida Power Boat Club's Poker Run event series and these YouTube episodes are presented by Mercury Racing Wide Open and by OffLeaseOnly.com, the nation's used car destination, along with these leading marine industry sponsors. Unbelievable. And of course, uh, a lot of people rolled in on Thursday night, so that meant on Friday morning, uh, we had some time to play and look at how beautiful the weather is as we stand here on the docks of the Tampa Convention Center. And this is our staging location for the Poker Run. Floating docks, uh, great pricing, and even enough room for Neil's big Lazara yacht. Well, we've got the FPC girls on hand today and all of our members as we do a quick dockside chat. And this is all about the Friday fun run, so not really the official poker run yet. That's going to be on Saturday, but we don't want to waste a great day here in the Tampa Bay waters. So it's time to get out, uh, leave the downtown area, get out onto the Bay waters and have a little shakedown run for everybody and find a great stop to go have lunch. And as we mill around here in the harbor getting ready for the start, you can see that we've got a really cool mix of boats. Uh, that Mystic 5000 Cat with uh, turbine engines, that's Chris Cox. And this Mystic uh, little sister ship, 38-foot Mystic Cat, Ron Zolak, who obviously we know is a boat lover and has several of them. Uh, we just never know which one's going to show up for the poker runs. Uh, off in the distance there, that's where we're going to have all of our parties. American Social on the right and uh, Jackson's Bistro on the left. Want to welcome back Eric Glazer and the team at Midnight Express on this 43. Uh, they have been great supporters of the club all year long uh, as a series sponsor and have attended as many poker runs as they can. Just lucky that Eric happened to get this boat traded in so he had a demo to use for the poker run. That's always been his biggest problem is making sure he had a boat he could come out and play with. And for all of you uh, map and chart buffs wondering where exactly are we right now, well, we're right downtown Tampa. This is called the Sedden Channel. I hope I said that right, S-E-D-D-O-N. And just off to our starboard side of the Project 1080 uh, cigarette here would be Davis Island. Now, we tried something new this year. We actually went to the, uh, the city park at Davis Island where the boat ramp is, and we used that boat ramp instead, and wow, it worked out great. Uh, the boat ramp there was really well situated, uh, had plenty of parking, and it gave everyone a chance to put their boats in the water, park their truck and trailers there safely, and be able to just make it back to the hotel and just a hop, skip, and a jump. Bill Munyon here, one of our local attendees. He's got himself a new 36 or 368 skater, but this one without boards. Not sure if he's going to buy the boat. I think he's just kind of trying it out uh, and using this uh, Tampa Bay weekend for a little shakedown to see if it's right for him. Uh, I checked in on him a little later after the run. It sounded like it wasn't right for him. It went back to Ron Zolak, and he sold it off to somebody else, and Bill kept his original 36-foot uh, skater team aftermath. And, of course, uh, another one of the skater clan, uh, Chris Lamort from New Jersey. His 36-foot skater powered by Mercury Racing 700s, and he's very proud of the fact that these motors have been running great ever since he installed them. I don't know how many years ago, but this is a great running boat, and uh, Chris does a lot of our events, especially over on this coast. And we had a short 10-minute uh, idle before we could get the boats up on plane, but everyone's just uh, chilling out nicely now. We just want to get safely out of this sudden channel up before we get into the open water. Not running with a helicopter today, so. I just kind of parked the Project 1080 cigarette off to one side and we got our camera crew shooting the boats as they went by and it was a kind of a neat vantage point because we're usually looking down from the helicopter not very often that we're sitting here on the surface of the water getting our cameras out to do these flybys but uh, it's another angle it's a different sort of a feeling it really puts you right in the middle of the poker run and gives you a chance to check out all the boats. And it looks like Team Mystic here, uh, Chris Cox and John Kosker in the cockpit with him, uh, putting on a good show of that big turbine Mystic Cat. 
and now riding on board in the cockpit of Project 1080. And I call it now the official chase boat because we're never leading this pack anymore. Uh, we run about 65, 70 cruise speed all day long, but uh, these guys want to run a lot faster. So we're the chase boat, and that's probably a good thing uh, because that's when we can come up along anybody who's had a problem and be able to respond to uh, their needs, whatever it might be. And it's not exactly like we've got medics uh, or any dive rescue staff on board today, but it did turn out that we were able to recruit a couple of guys that decided it wasn't their day for boating. And sadly, there was a little bit of a, uh, an oil hydraulic fluid uh, that had blown out on one of the turbines. And Chris Cox and his buddy jumped on board and, and uh, John Koska put the boat back on the trailer and took it back to Mystic. And I was really excited to return to the getaway in St. Petersburg along the Gandhi Boulevard. We've been here before with the Tampa Bay Poker Run, but it is a very popular place now and extremely difficult to get in here with a big group of boats on a Saturday. So we decided that the Friday fun run would be the perfect time to visit here. And in the meantime, since we were here last, they brought their cooking and all their food prep into a kitchen area on the property. Uh, back in the day, it used to be with food trucks, and I think this is a much better situation. Uh, but you can see here from these videos that we had uh, from the drone that it really is a nice location. A uh, nice sandy beach on the one side of the property. Quite a bit of dockage, but because it's a protected basin, we're able to raft at least eight or nine or ten deep because there's not a lot of boat traffic there's not a lot of current uh, so it really it's possible to put a lot of boats in here as you can see that we did uh, but it's a nice vibe you can see the palm trees and the and the, the umbrellas and they've got kind of a tiki bar thing going an open air tiki bar and this is the kind of place that boaters love and that's why on every saturday and every sunday here uh, this place is just jam-packed with local boaters and I think that there's nothing better than a big raft up where you can just fly the drone around and look at all the cool boats and see quite a mix of V-bottoms and catamarans and even plenty of room there for the locals on those little finger piers. And I think that's another thing that's cool about coming here on the Friday, that some of the locals are aware that the poker run is going on. So they come out here and, uh, you know, it's, it's a big event to have a poker run like this come in to a little waterfront uh, restaurant like this and you know and we like making new friends and we kind of like to be rock stars so the fanfare really goes a long ways and it really helps out with our showmanship that's for sure so let's uh, turn up the music and enjoy this scenery on a beautiful friday in march here in the tampa area And as I mentioned earlier, there is plenty of scenery here on these poker run events, and that certainly extends to the beautiful ladies. And there are many here on this event today. Uh, as you just look around the docks, there's a lot of bikinis out. I gotta love these, these poker run events, but think about it. We're in the middle of March when it's cold everywhere else in the country, and here we are checking out bikinis <laughs> down on the dock. But, uh, we had a couple of FPC girls, a new girl, Raven, uh, one of our local girls who came to join us for her first FPC event. And I kind of wanted to show everybody just how great that marine mat uh, installed by Bulletproof Custom Decking was on the 38 cigarette. Easy on the knees, easy on the butt, uh, and certainly it's not hot like the hot paint gets. So this is really an ideal situation. Now, of course, Marissa joined her, the pro that she is. Uh, Marissa Everhart has been with us now for about a year doing these poker run events with us. And I believe that she has become a natural uh, in every respect from handing out the poker cards to being a hostess and that's why she has become a regular on our Florida Powerboat Club events. And it's time to say hi to Three Boat George Ariano from Ocala, Florida. While there's only three boats here with his M35 DCB, his uh, 30 foot Phantom and his uh, Sensation 36, that's three of his fleet of about 15 boats 
Uh, but he does have a lot of friends who like to drive his boat, so he says, what the heck, let's bring them all. And he had a big group with us, about 18 all together in the Ariano team uh, for this weekend. So thank you, George, for being a great supporter of these Florida Powerboat Club events. And a very special welcome to this couple, Frank and Grazia Bolti, all the way from France. It says Florida, but they're actually from France. They keep the boat in Florida. Uh, Sean Evans takes care of it for them. This 44-foot MTI Cat is powered by Mercury Racing 1350s. And I think it's just amazing that this couple would come all the way across the Atlantic to join us in Tampa here for this poker run. So uh, thanks for coming out, and nice to have you. And there's another great shot of just how big this raft up was with that 44 concept, uh, Noel Speranza on the very end with this uh, quad Mercury Racing 400Rs, a nice paint job, and a boat that's been very active on the Florida Powerboat Club scene since they took delivery a year earlier. And here's a shot, guys, that reminds everybody, if you haven't heard the news, center consoles have really taken over here on these poker run events, and you can see why. There's lots of room for all your friends, and they have outboard power. And for this team, it's not outboard power, it's stern drive power, Mercury Racing twin 540s on this Project 1080 cigarette, uh, which is now on its uh, official tour of duty. Third event on the 2019 season. We kicked it off with the January winter poker run. Then in February, the Miami Boat Show poker run. And now in March, the Tampa Bay poker run. So we are getting some hours on this 38-foot cigarette and really putting her through the paces. I have the pleasure of uh, having my son Maxwell join me for this weekend. He's 13 years old and his middle school spring break just started. So uh, we decided to spend some quality time together on the poker run. And these poker runs are contagious. We actually adopted this new group of hardcore one horsepowers as they decided to join in for the run. And I love these video clips that Joe is getting uh, with his drone rig. He's very good at flying the drone. And this has added a great new dimension to all of our poker run videos here on YouTube. And I mentioned uh, Noel and Gretchen Speranza earlier with this 44 concept, and they have been so active on the poker run scene ever since they got this uh, concept from Tampa to Fort Myers, down to the Florida Keys, and all the way to the Bahamas. They have been very active, and they put hundreds of hours on this boat with the club. And another veteran of this uh, event and the club now, Greg Tolson in his 32-foot sensation, addictive behavior. I've uh, been a big supporter of this event year after year. And there's a big contrast from a 36 skater to a 32-foot Sea Fox. Uh, a big contrast. And Matt Wilson back for his second year in a row in this Sea Fox Center console. And he told me recently at Emerald Coast that he's got the new Sea Fox 36 model coming, uh, the very first one, with Mercury Racing Verados. And a quick buzz over Daniel and Lana Dickert, also from Florida. They're a triple engine 34 Nortec center console. And once again, just a quick shot here of Bill Munyon in this loner for the weekend, this 368 skater powered by twin Mercury Racing 400Rs. And the other, other Chris, that's right, Chris Ryder, uh, who's always uh, doing these events with his 36 skater and good friends with Chris Lamort from New Jersey. These guys are at a lot of our poker run events. And with this wild paint job, this 36 gets a lot of attention. You know, these guys are like the three musketeers, you know, Chris Lamort here in his 36 and uh, then Bill Munyon in his 36 for the weekend. And then of course, Chris Ryder in his 36. But <laughs> These guys are all over each other and Facebook and Instagram. Um, poking fun at each other and uh, it's just fun to watch them and uh, jabbing each other back and forth but uh, a good group of friends and really this is what makes these poker runs so much fun because uh, these guys get together and ham it up and it's kind of fun to watch them go at it sometimes and let's welcome back team dream hunters sean and channing MacArthur in their 36 foot blackwater triple mercury 350 verados the girls putting on a show there up front and uh, really fun people to hang out with. They always have a great spirit. Uh, good to have you guys back again. And we're in your own backyard, so it's more like we're the ones who are back. But the fact that you guys are local and keep joining us for this event really says a lot. And we thank you for that. As we keep closing in uh, for a bird's eye view, this is now Jeff Mowry from Massachusetts in his 36-foot concept uh, powered by Suzuki Upboards, uh, first set of those we've seen in a while, pair of 350s. And of course, Eric Glazier, Team Midnight Express, this big 43 
count them one two three four five mercury racing 400 hours powering this big 43 open and here's a boat that's nice to see brad hancock uh, from georgia in this 50 foot hustler with a pair of mercury racing uh, 1075s and it's kind of unique because he redid the boat a few years back uh, but in the meantime, he went and bought a brand new Nortec 477 with 1350s. So he spends a lot of time in the Nortec, but it was nice to see that they uh, dusted off the Hustler and brought it out to Tampa. And nice to see Team Problem Child back on the scene, uh, this time in a 41-foot cigarette. Uh, it's about their third event since they purchased this beautiful cigarette powered by Quad Mercury 400Rs. Just a few months after the Tampa event, they joined us for our Bahamas uh, Summer Poker Run all the way to the Exumas and back, and they had a blast. And another very special welcome to George Chakula, all the way from, well, Sweden and Finland. He kind of lives in a bunch of different places, but definitely a European who loves coming to America to go boating. He just had the boat shipped over for the winter season, and right after the Tampa run, it went back on a freighter and returned to Europe for the summer. Gotta love that boating lifestyle. That's what you call dedication. And just to remind everybody, especially our first-time viewers, we don't run around at idle speed all weekend long with these boats. That was a special segment today where we had the drone and took advantage of these long idle speed sections uh, coming out of the lunch stop. So a lot of that footage here for the Friday run, but now it's Friday night and we're getting ready for the big run on Saturday. And that's when we're going to have a helicopter. That's when we're going to go fast. And that's why we need to have the mandatory captain safety meeting. And of course, that all begins with the check-in process, which Raven and Marissa are handling quite well right now. Uh, you, everyone gets a nice embroidered goodie bag. Of course, we have those nice screen printed uh, tees and tanks for the guys and gals and a decal for your boat. And of course, those colorful stickers to indicate what class speed you're in. And it all happened here at the Tampa Waterside Marriott. A beautiful venue with docking right out front. Some of the lucky participants got to have their boats docked right here. And it's only about a three minute walk down to the convention center where the rest of the boats are docked. This is about as serious and as formal as we get all weekend long, but it is important to have a captain's safety meeting uh, to go over the poker run course and all of the safety guidelines. It is mandatory as part of our uh, insurance, our event insurance guidelines. And I think it's important, especially for a lot of these people who are attending that are not familiar with the local waters. They need to know a little bit more about what we're doing, where we're going. And I always explain to everyone how we're gonna do the event with the faster boats uh, being the front runners and then the next class being the performance class and of course the sport boat class. We do have uh, volunteer boats with paid uh, rescue staff on board uh, and we go over the guidelines in terms of how those boats are gonna assist us and where we're gonna do all of the checkpoints. And about half the group later assembled at Harpoon Harry's for dinner, but what a great way to wind up a beautiful Friday here on the Tampa Bay Poker Run. And Saturday morning came quickly with yet another beautiful day. Look at the blue skies and the light winds as everybody was milling around here, getting ready for the very exciting Tampa Bay Poker Run with the first card right off the docks here in front of American Social and our beautiful Raven, our local model, handing off the very first poker card while Marissa has got on board one of our patrol boats and headed off to Egmont Key. She's gonna handle card checkpoint number two for our next stop. And there is a lot of energy here in this marina as we hand off the cards. Frank and Grazia all the way from France now on their really awesome 44 MTI. I love the paintwork, Mercury Racing 1350s. Everyone's got their cell phones out taking pictures and sending them to their friends back at home. And of course, there's that problem child all the way from Naples, Florida, getting back into the poker run circuit after the girls grew up. Time for mom and dad to go play again and they picked the right platform to do it, this 41 cigarette GTR. So let's let the cameras roll, turn up the volume, and let you guys at home stand right here and get a front row seat to this very festive Tampa Bay Poker Run. Her 
Here's a great shot, gang. If you look back uh, over behind Bill Robbins and see that's the Marriott that we're staying in. Uh, the one in the middle there, the Embassy Suites. And just to the left is the Tampa Convention Center where we have all of our docking for the poker run. So you get an idea of just how close everything is. And we're standing here on the docks of the American Social and Jackson's Bistro. So really this is it. You're looking at the whole venue that we have for the entire event. But enough about the venue because Neil and Cindy are back up and we got to get a closer look at this team, Bodacious, and all their pretty ladies. I want to welcome back Chris and Kimberly Erickson from Erickson Marine in Sarasota, Florida. They're a Nortec dealer, and I want to thank them for letting us use their shop. When we came up, uh, the cigarette was really dirty. They let us use their shop to get the boat all cleaned up, and then they did a few minor repairs for us. So, Chris and all of your staff, thank you very much for rolling out the red carpet to the Florida Powerboat Club uh, at your shop in Sarasota, Florida.
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. I love standing here in the dock and uh, having a close-up encounter with our teams as they get ready for a fun day of boating. Remember, it's still early in the morning. It's a little after 10, and we've got a full day of boating ahead of us, about 100 miles altogether uh, for the Poker Run course today. And some people in their jackets, some in their bikinis, but nonetheless, everyone is here to enjoy the sun and the great outdoors. But the guys who are going to be getting a lot of fresh air today are these guys because they're flying in an open-doored R-44 helicopter at about 120. Uh, we've got our uh, local photographer, Blaine Barden, and uh, Joe Cotrady on board today, our FPC photo and video crew, and they are going to get some live hot action, and they're getting started already as they pick up here now on Ron Zolak and his 38-foot Mystic uh, Team Flight Club. One of the newer models from the Mystic lineup, uh, C3800 Cat, joining the long list of uh, boat manufacturers who have come up with these smaller cats that run on twin outboard power. I think that John Kosker and some of these uh, Mystic dealers would admit that this boat was designed for Mercury Racing 450Rs, uh, which didn't come out quite on time as expected. Uh, so they got a set of 400Rs, at least most of them did. But I think going forward, and I know that we have one signed up for the Key West Poker Run 2019 here in November, is going to arrive with a pair of the new 450Rs, and I'm sure it's going to run uh, real sweet with that kind of power. Uh, but good to have Ron Zolak here, always representing different brands. He's a powerboat aficionado of sorts, uh, owns a lot of different boats, loves going fast, and loves going out in these poker runs. And we can't help but notice these beautiful cruising conditions here on this uh, Saturday morning in Tampa Bay. And continuing our chase across Tampa Bay as we catch up now with John Chrysler in his uh, triple engine 47 foot fountain team, Dixie Normus. Yes, indeed, he did watch a lot of those Austin Power movies, which I loved myself and we all did. Uh, but uh, he's even got shirts and cups and hats and everything. So my, my 13 year old son, Max, was happy to get his first Dixie Normus shirt, which he wears proudly around the house. Uh, Mom won't let him wear it to school, of course. But uh, John has become a very avid boater with the club. Soon after the uh, Tampa Bay Poker Run, he joined us for the Bahamas Poker Run and took this big 47 all the way to Nassau and back. I think it was smart on the one day that we went off to the Exumas, he decided to leave the fountain at the dock and jumped on the little center console charter boat that we arranged for everybody. And probably saved himself about $1,000 in fuel cost. But it's a pretty short ride today, so I think the fuel cost today will be easy on his credit card. Now it's time to check in with uh, Team Bodacious 2, Neil and Cindy Campbell and their crew. Always a very sexy crew at that. And they have become veterans of this Tampa Bay Poker Run. And that is because they live nearby, just over in the St. Pete area. Uh, so they didn't have to come very far to get checked in. And they're actually staying on board their big Lazara yacht at the... Tampa Bay Convention Center. Got a big crew today, always a very spirited team, fun to have them around and enjoy boating with this team. One day I'm going to just say, you know what, I'm going to park my boat and just ride with them because I know I'm going to have a blast. Good to have you guys back and I hope you're having a wonderful time here on Tampa. And here's another guy who's got high performance fuel in his veins and that's Don Doty from Michigan. Loves going fast. Uh, Loves skaters so much, he has not only one, but two skaters. This is called One Year Skater. It's a 42 uh, Mercury Racing 1350s. A beautiful boat. Love the rooster tail it throws out. And uh, great video shots of this boat. Well framed. Uh, our video guy is really getting in on this and doing a wonderful job of capturing these boats uh, in their true element. And that's at speed, cruising across these bay waters. But all the way from Michigan, uh, a very spirited team also. You know, Don, I met him more than 20 years ago in Grand Haven, Michigan on a poker run and have known him ever since. And he's had so many boats, I've lost count. But every time he gets a new boat, it's bigger and faster and the, and the price of the toys gets bigger. But that doesn't stop him. He just loves this sport 
and is one of those guys that, that is going to be doing it all his years for the rest of his life. So uh, he certainly is a veteran and a, and a good team player. Good to have you, Don, and your crew here. And we look forward to seeing you guys all in Key West for the November Key West Poker Run. And it's going to be our final boat for today's coverage. Of course, plenty more episodes to come. But this is Eric Laser from Team Midnight Express, one of our 2019 series sponsors, big supporters of the Florida Powerboat Club, uh, running this 43-foot Midnight Express today with five Mercury Racing 400s. I've had a chance to ride on this boat a couple of times. She is sweet. Uh, we actually took it to the Bahamas just about a month after the Tampa Bay Poker Run. Uh, I rode on board with Eric and we went over to the uh, Bahamas, uh, Bimini Bahamas, for the Midnight Express Owners Rally, which turned out to be a fantastic event. Uh, but really thanks to Eric and his brother Harris, who together in just over a decade have really turned this company around with a very exciting line of performance center consoles. So that pretty much will wrap up our coverage of this episode one for our Tampa Poker Run 2019 coverage. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the show. We're going to have another episode back very soon with more high-speed aerials chasing down these power boats across the Tampa Bay waters and, of course, wrapping things up with all the great parties at nighttime. But it's all part of the lifestyle that you get when you join the Florida Power Boat Club. So if you want to know more, just check out our website at flpowerboat.com. It's all there, all of the events and information about membership and joining the club. And believe me, we have got a very exciting 2020 plan. If you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, this is where you're going to see all the live action. And we try to bring out at least a couple new episodes every week. So the best thing to do is subscribe and click the notification bell. So you're going to get uh, emails and notifications every time a new episode releases. We are currently over 20,000 subscribers. And I'd like to see that number double over the next several months. So please join us. This is Stu Jones. Thanks for watching. Here's all of our information about our social media channels, including Facebook and Instagram. Check us out, follow us, and please join the FPC family whatever way you can. Until next time, be safe out there. And remember, guys, always wear your life jackets. Bye for now. The Florida Powerboat Club's Poker Run event series and these YouTube episodes are presented by Mercury Racing Wide Open and by OffLeaseOnly.com, the nation's used car destination, along with these leading marine industry sponsors.